Hey there folks, in this video we're going to take a look at another interesting mathematical Olympiad problem in which we want to find the largest number. So we have five numbers and we want to find the largest number. In order to do that we just need to compare some of these numbers and then we will be able to say which one is the largest one. But before I start with the solution, please consider subscribing for more contents like this and smash the like button if you find this video helpful. So first of all, I'm going to start with comparing the first number with this number. So I want to compare 2 to the power of 431 with 21 to the power of 43. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start with the fact that 2 to the fifth power equals 32 and 32 is greater than 21. So I can say that 2 to the fifth power is greater than 21. Now if I raise both sides to the power of 43, I will have 2 to the power of 5 raised to the power of 43 is greater than 21 to the power of 43. Based on the rules of exponents, I can rewrite the left hand side as 2 to the power of 5 times 43, which is 215. And obviously we know that 2 to the power of 431 is larger than 2 to the power of 215. So if I put these two together based on the transitive property, I can say that 2 to the power of 431 is greater than 21 to the power of 43. And based on this, I can say that this number cannot be the largest number. Next, I'm going to compare the first number with the last number. So I want to compare 2 to the power of 431 with 31 to the power of 42. And the thing is, I just need to do the same thing that I did in the previous one. I'm going to start with the fact that uh, 2 to the power of 5 equals 32, and 32 is greater than 31. So I will have 2 to the power of 5 is greater than 31. So I will have 2 to the fifth power raised to the power of 42 is larger than 31 to the power of 42. And then this gives me 2 to the power of 210 is larger than 31 to the power of 42. And since 2 to the power of uh, 431 is greater than 2 to the power of 210, I can use the transitive property and say that 2 to the power of 431 is greater than 31 to the power of 42. And again, based on this, I can say that the last number cannot be the largest number. Next, I'm going to go ahead and compare the first number with the third number. So I want to compare 2 to the power of 431 with 4 to the power of 321. To do that, let's go ahead and start with the fact that 4 equals 2 squared. So if I raise both sides to the power of 321, I will have 4 to the power of 321 equals 2 squared raised to the power of 321, which gives me 2 to the power of 642. Now, obviously, 2 to the power of 431 is less than 2 to the power of 642. So if I put these two together, I can say that 2 to the power of 431 is less than 4 to the power of 321, which means that the first number cannot be the largest number. So in order to find out the largest number, in order to find out which one is the largest number, we just need to compare the second number with the third number, and we're going to do that. So I want to compare 3 to the power of 421 with 4 to the power of 321. And actually, this is the most interesting one. To do that, first of all, I'm going to start with the fact that 4 to the power of 5 equals 2 to the 10th power, which equals 1024. And 3 to the power of 7 equals 3 squared times 3 to the 5th power, which equals 9 times 81, which equals 729. So the idea is to use these two numbers to compare these two numbers. 
So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start with 4 to the power of 320 is less than 4 to the power of 321. And the fact that 4 to the power of 320 can be written as 4 to the fifth power raised to the power of 64 because 5 times 64 is the same thing as 320. And notice that 4 to the fifth power is 1024. So we have this. And then if I put these two together, I can say that 1024 to the power of 64 is less than 4 to the power of 321. And I'm going to call this star. Next, I can say that 3 to the power of 421 is obviously less than 3 to the power of 427, which can be written as 3 to the 7th power raised to the power of 61, because 7 times 61 gives us 427. And since 3 to the 7th power gives us 729, so we have 729 to the power of 61. And this is obviously less than 729 to the power of 64. And since 729 is less than 1024, I can say that this is less than 1024 to the power of 64. And based on the star, I can say that this is less than 4 to the power of 321. So I showed that this number is less than this number. So I showed that 3 to the power of 421 is less than 4 to the power of 321. And that means that the second number cannot be the largest number. And this is the largest number. 4 to the power of 321 is the largest number. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching this video. Please consider subscribing for more contents like this. And hit the like button if you find this video helpful. Hopefully, I will see you later. Goodbye for now.